Soft Race is going to give you a lot of options for racing or doing outdoor stuff. It supports a number of sports from walking to rowing to jogging. And the cool thing is you can set the distance. So let's say I want to run uh, four miles today. What it's going to do is match me with people who are also running four miles. And I can choose the, the level of race. So if I'm fast, which I'm not. I'm going to choose fast, so I'm going to be matched with other men who are also fast and they're going to be starting. And as we race, there's going to be a little chart telling me, okay, you're in third place or you finished in second place. So I can use that as a way to gauge my performance. And if I want to do something that's more local, I can just say I'm going to race myself. So you're basically racing against your own personal best time. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do with this. It has a diary. So you can keep track of your running or if you want to make notes every time you go out. Uh, you can also play with settings and you can see stats. So you can see your average performance, when you do your best, uh, how often you reach a certain plateau. And you can also do what's called a challenge where you invite other people to race against you. And this is a really cool app. If you need extra motivation when you go out to run or walk or kayak or whatever, this is going to be a really good app to do it. It taps into your GPS, it tracks you, and it pits you against other people who are of a similar level. It's called Soft Race, and it's available now on the Android market. And here's the Doom live wallpaper. It pretty much speaks for itself. You know, he's running through the board, he's shooting everything that moves. Uh, this is the Doom guy, and it just plays out on your home screen. You can change the settings, you can change the speed, you can change the background. Uh, at, right now I have it set to fast, but you can do anywhere from normal to slow to warp speed, and it can just go a lot faster. It's available now in the Android market, but in order to use it, you must have Android 2.1 or higher, you know, like all live wallpapers. So it's called Doom Live Wallpaper. Just search for that and you'll you'll find it. So right now I'm going to change the speed and I'm going to set it at wicked fast. Set wallpaper and now you see the difference. This is Andrew from Androidica.com and this is Android Apps Alert, your weekly guide to all things Android. Nowadays, everyone's looking for the perfect clock, and Clocker might be the one for you. It's a very simple home screen widget. It says the time on the home screen, as you just saw, 1038. And if I want to mess around with the settings, all I have to do is tap it and put time options. Then I can change the color, and I can say, you know what, I want it to be pink or purple. I can change the alignment. I can also change the size, so I'm going to make it as big as possible. And uh, you can make it a 12-hour format or do military time. And once you have everything the way you want, you can turn the background on or off. And now all of a sudden you see it's bigger, it's got a different color, and it matches my home screen. It's C-L-O-C-R. It's called Clocker, and it's a great app. Uh, test it out. See if it's what you want. I love music, so of course I'm going to love this app called My Piano. It's basically a mini piano in front of you. You tap your chords. You know, if you've got uh, pretty much experience with making melodies in your head or just playing around and tapping stuff, you can have this app and it can be fun. Uh, depending on the responsiveness of your screen will depend on how fluid the motion can be. But it does support multi-touch and it supports a variety of instruments. That's the grand piano, but I can also play electric, road, synthesizer, rock organ. I can even play acoustic guitar. Okay, now the really cool thing about this is that you can record your own sample. It's only two seconds, but you can still record. So let's say I had a violin or something in the background. I can just tap this and press yes, and it will record the violin and let me play it out. I'm going to record a vocal sample. Ooh. Okay, and now I recorded. When I press this button... Okay, you get the idea. Play around with it, be creative, have fun. It's called My Piano and it's available for free in the Android market. You can lose a lot of time just being stupid and creating these own little melodies for yourself.
All right, one of the coolest things I've ever seen is when I watched this French movie and it had what's called parkour. Basically, you run and no matter what object is in your way, you jump over it, you jump under it, you dive across, jump from building to building no matter what. Parkour Roof Riders is a game that does that for Android. You're, you're tasked with basically running through a level and diving through stuff, jumping over stuff, jumping under it. By doing a quick tap, you just do a little jump. When you flick up, you do a bigger jump. And uh, depending on the objects in your way, you get points for jumping over them or jumping or hitting them, I should say. You get deducted points. And it's all about combining the moves that you need to do just to get make it through the level. As you saw, I just hit some tires, so they subtracted 30 points. But when I jump over this, I get extra points. The game gets more difficult as you go along. There's several levels. There's a construction site. Uh, you're jumping from roof to rooftop to rooftop. Right now, I'm just going through the regular phase and as you can see there's a dog chasing me and if I don't successfully jump over stuff he's gonna get closer and closer so I've just got to outrun him and this is parkour roof riders it's available for free in the Android market there's also a paid version that has more scenarios and more features check it out oh, I got caught all right if you have a chase banking account you need to get the chase mobile app for Android it just came out yesterday uh, once you log in, it's going to tell you how much money you have in your debits or credit accounts. It's going to tell you your payment due dates, your minimum balance, uh, things like that. You can also get information for contacting Chase. If you need help, you can contact them through your phone or go online. And also, if you need money, you don't want to pay uh, the high fees or you just need to deposit a check, you just go to Find ATM and it's going to give you all the ones in your area. And the best part is, yes, it does include check deposit. So if I have a check with me, all I do is I take a picture of the check and it uploads uh, to Chase. They get that information from me and then they're able to put that money directly in my account. It's Chase Mobile for Android. If you have a Chase account, I highly suggest getting this app.